So nasal fracture can happen from uh, a sporting event or MBA, but um, there is simply sometimes uh, the force is so much that pushes the nasal bone to one side and it obviously causes nasal obstruction with breathing and there are different ways of treating it. One of the easiest ways is just if it is noted uh, fairly quickly, we can uh, do a closed reduction of nasal fracture essentially uh, without being on the sleep, but um, we can give medications and be completely, the area will be completely numb. You won't, uh, the patient won't feel anything, but uh, we reduce the nasal bone and we bring it back to where, where it is. Sometimes the nasal fracture has healed in an incorrect way and um, we have to do surgery and in those cases we have to do a variety of different techniques to correct it. For example, we have to release the deforming forces, we have to visualize the nasal fracture, we have to do um, some uh, bony manipulation and readjustment in order to bring back the nasal pyramid to midline and improve the airway. In addition, septoplasty should be done or turbinate uh, is pushed out of the way so the airflow is better. And then we use typically cartilage graft and suturing in order to bring the septum back to midline and allow the, the function and form uh, be reestablished to normalcy. And this is uh, nasal fracture is one of the very, uh, very fun things uh, to treat because uh, not only the function is improved but the form and the beauty of the face and the nose is restored.